Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment and trendy stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye. Hey, guys. You good? I'm great. I'm good. How you doing? Cold. You're cold. Mm -hmm. Is that why you're looking like a police woman today? Because <laughs> I don't understand. Well. Ife, you're just noticing it, right? No, she mentioned it, but I wasn't. I was trying to see the resemblance. It's kind of similar, but I think it's so cute. Anyways, um, moving on to the first um, topic of conversation has to be on Vector. There is this long conversation, or is it long interview oh. of how he started from Celestia Church to laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because that's the last time I was so Then G movement and he's living, he, he's living in the highbrow area on the on Lagos mainland because he wants to stay near his Lafayette people. No, he's still in Lafayette. Uh, yeah. how, mm, why is it Lafayette? Oh, Lafayette now has a highbrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. <sighs> It's trying to be like the American artists, you know, they still wrap their hood. A lot of them don't mm. move out and they see the ones that move to Beverly Hills as um, sellouts. Mm. You get, but there are some that still, someone like Nipsey no, or so. Wherever he's staying, you get, the which is why he died. He started <coughs> um, his company in the hood, mm. you get. So um, I think it's just trying to live up to that. Thing. His residential address is not even a problem. He can live in the middle of. Um, uh, I don't want to use derogatory work, but maybe let's say the middle of so a slum or a place you regard as rural area and still have like a comfortable mansion there. There's nothing wrong with it. But what I'm trying to understand is the aim of this long conversation that he had with um, I think that was false. So I don't know what he wanted to. And uh, then let me touch on what I saw where he said that um, he tried to make it look like the beef had always come from MI. So MI does the beef behind the scenes i think yeah. and then come in front to <coughs> make say, itself look like a good you know guy. and then i saw some tweets that people digged up of mi from 2015 way back all the while and they were yeah. tweets of him hailing vector and saying this guy is best at um, what's this thing they do um stand up rap. rap battle mm -hmm. but he he was saying that himself he knows that he is good at writing but when it comes to battle that mm. he gives it to Vector. Mm. There's another tweet I saw too where he was talking about Vector being recognized and respected. So all the things he says, he was trying to say that MI has done to him is kind of opposite um, compared to what, what we are saying. Right? So I think I um, where um, Vector is saying that MI, he said in 2012, mm -hmm. he wrote MI for a collaboration. Mm -hmm. And um, that's not even the beginning. So the beef started from when no, he, from when when he, he did went for a rap. No, it's, no, 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 no. That, that one is even <coughs> now. That uh, first encounter. encounter was this rap battle where they said, mm -hmm. Oh, there's this guy, Emma, is untouchable. Mm -hmm. When you throw any word at him, but he's saying they didn't even have the rap no, battle. No, they didn't do the battle, but mm -hmm. Emma was present while he performed. Mm -hmm. And then people were like, Whoa! Like You get they were throwing words, it's called um, wordplay. Mm -hmm. So they just throw somebody can just say Elsie and then you have to rap with Elsie. Air wire, you have mm. to so um and then they saw this new key Die. that mm. said that and then the only cool thing and then which i think is very unnecessary if you mm -hmm. ask me about mm -hmm. the only cool thing because a lot of people do covers so if somebody's cover is doing more successful than, than, your, means, uh, yeah, than the song itself i think and then well they have every right though because at that time i think mi2 i said mi ice Prince just came out as well mm -hmm. so and i think who was more in the who was first in the business? Vector. Yeah, Vector. Vector was Vector. first. Yeah, business, Vector yeah. was first. So if you're a bigger artist and then we're trying to promote a new brand and then you go and do a better cover than the original version, man. Every other record label was I, I think for him he just he just saw it as a case of um the beat is nice and I'm jumping on it. Like mm -hmm. you said, like it's something that everybody well, I like I, I don't see any problem with the person doing a cover and cover being more successful. It happens like it every happened time. a lot. There's yeah. a song that Chris Brown has, but you know I prefer the cover of um, Becca from Ghana mm. to Chris Brown's version of that song. I mean it happens all the time. I didn't know I, I don't know the reason why there was an issue out of it. I feel like there was an issue because there was already a beef. Mm -hmm. If it was if they were on a good terms, it wouldn't be like a serious case like that. Mm. Do you understand? Then he said um, King Kong, which is one of his most successful hits, um, Vector's mm. most successful hits, yeah. He said um, he... He reached out to M.I. He reached out to M.I. that I wanted him on that song. 
he got a response. Then after a while, they'll go mute again. So it was more like, so he said, so he was shocked when MI came out to say that Which I'm the guy that works with everybody. everybody. You get, so it's like, what Actually, when he's so, been chasing him for so you have a collaboration. For 2012, 2015, and then, and he didn't want to make it look like, I'm he, begging yeah, you. I'm begging you. So he wasn't pushing like so an upcoming yeah. artist. Do you get what I mean? Because some other people would have written another mail, be like, ah, bro, you never have to reply. You get he that said MI reached out to him too for a song, and then he was ready. Yeah, that when he was ready, yeah. they went mute they went again. Mute. So, is it now? <laughs> I don't know how to put this, that it won't come out wrong. But is it a case of MI being scared of being on a song with him? Mm, so they won't have to, that people will not have to directly pick with he best. Better, well, I, don't, I don't think he needs to be scared. Com that's looking at the tweet he put out where he clearly said he, um, no, he acknowledged yeah. Vector, that uh, Vector is good at um, uh, battle raps and all that, but he is better with writing. So if you're entering the studio, it means you're going to write. Okay, now and he they've also just been on a song together by VJ Adams, though. Mm. Um, something, um, something rap as well. Uh, Definition the fine of rap. rap something, yeah, yeah, the fine rap. And I think if they were both on that song, but Emma is still cute. It. <sighs> Whatever I, this I, I is, really, yeah, I just I really know. want them to. I don't now. I, you know, before I said I was not so bothered about mm. them. Now I think I really want the both of them to just settle. No, they are not beefing. I don't think they're going to settle. To I think this is a hip hop thing, and I think this is going to go on for a long time. I, even if they settle, it's not going to come out public to say they are cool. They are yeah, going to as be long as, as long as you know, when they, when, when the old thing started, we all thought it was a joke. Mm. To, um, to Mi responded, and the guy went hard. Yeah, do you understand? If it's just about the hip hop thing. I'm okay with it. I want to be entertained too. Mm. But the moment is already getting too serious and past the whole hip hop thing. I don't think it's so healthy for the both of them. Mm. I think they're dropping. Um, Vector is dropping an EP today, yeah. right? Mm. And that should be more this. The vibe and then Tesla. <laughs> MI also has announced a November tour mm. named No Snakes. That I don't know. This is. Uh, no, no, it, it, okay. I think they are both making money. He wore the T-shirt. No yeah. Snakes. He's also selling the shoes. Yeah. yeah, there's a franchise on that now. So. And people think the sub. <laughs> for Vector yeah. that Vector mm. is but it is I can't wait Vector. to listen to Tesla. Yeah. You know. No, I'm talking about the um, his no performance snake. at um, Big Brother. Yeah. You know he threw shit at Vector. I oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I can't remember what it is exactly. But give yeah. me, like... Was it from the um, Viper track? I think it was from the Viper. I, I really can't remember, but people have been And he actually called it, out Vector, or people just picked up people that he was speaking? People just picked up. He didn't call Vector okay. directly, but everybody knows what's up right now. Mm -hmm. and some people find that it was... Some people think that it was very unnecessary for him to do that, just perform and leave. I don't know that, but... At the end of the day, this is working. We are suddenly talking about hip-hop. We're talking about Vector. We're talking mm. about... And MI. now we'll be looking forward and to And I'm looking forward to Tesla. We'll I'm looking forward the to the vibe talk. Tesla. You know, so I'm also looking forward to the album. This is just awesome, right? You guys yeah, keep entertaining. I don't know if you guys come with strong on the fact that he spoke about sex a lot. He was oh, yeah! <laughs> he was relating everything back to sex. He said when he was depressed, he had a lot of sex. And, and then, please, I think I agree with him because he said something very yeah, profound. He said he has no... Is that fact. the poor people, all they have to do is it's, just have sex, yeah, and that's, that's sort of the only thing that makes them happy, and that's the and they keep producing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I picked up on that mm. too. And then he said that um, you need to find your happy place, except during sex, though, because <laughs> everyone we're all in our happy places. <laughs> like, the thing is that people don't know um, their happy, their places, happy places, places except during, during sex. sex mm. Yeah. So I don't know. So maybe he has a sex problem too. So. <sighs> I don't wow. think so. He just told you he had a lot of sex, if eh? Hey, why? Okay, I think we should do Because he was his, depressed. Exactly. I think we should do his own Lama Odom thing and find out how many women. Because he said he loves. Oh, he said he's also a fine guy. Yeah, he's six and four, he always he's, gets the ladies. And people see him as a, being cocky. Confident, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and that we lack but, confident men. In, we'll be confident people in this part of the definitely, world. Definitely, that's a truth. Ah, no, I think, I think that uh, is right, too. Because once you're pretty and you know that you're pretty, people think that you're cocky. I know, right? I feel him on that level. <laughs> I just caught you. see what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, moving on from that story to another very big story, which I, that is not necessarily about entertainment, but this is a topic that I've been um, trending mm. since yesterday. It's still trending right now. The lecturer, a lecturer alongside two other lecturers were exposed in a video by um, BBC Africa, compiled by journalist Kiki Modi. Kiki Modi. Um, the video is a product of a year-long investigation by BBC Africa Eye, using undercover reporters posing as students 
It revealed how female students are blackmailed and sexually harassed by male lecturers in exchange for better grades and mentorship. The focus was on two of West Africa's leading universities, the University of Lagos and the University of Ghana. This project was to expose how the epidemic of sex was, um, or sex for grade have left several victims traumatized for years. Um, the people exposed include um, Dr. Boniface, Dr. Samuel Oladipo, Dr. Paul Kwame Bukato, and Professor Ransford Gampo. Is it Jampo? Yeah. So um, the last two is from Ghana, and then the other two from Nigeria. the University Nigeria. of Lagos. Mm. Um, I, I love the swift action from mm. um, University of Lagos, at least. Mm. They claim to have suspended them. And then the Foursquare Church, too. Dr. Boniface is a pastor mm. in Foursquare, and they've he also said it. He prayed. He prayed for her. He may, I don't know. So he just makes this whole year to also. far to a boat thing come back. Again. Yeah, mm. and then people start saying this is what um, was expected from Koza when the uh, allegation for Fatou Ibu came up. But let's not even bring Fatou Ibu into mm, it. Let let's talk about um, let's sex for grades. One thing, one I haven't thing. experienced this. Maybe because oh. I, I, I was not opportunity to go through the conventional staying at campus staying. I mean, when you're a hustler like me, you have to work and school. So it was a case of part-time studies. I had to do jobs and work and then school. So I wasn't in that space to be seen, lucky to be harassed. You. And you're not lucky me. But I'm not going to act like I do not understand this. So I've not um, seen people going through this. Mm. So I've not heard stories, right? And we all do, and which is why I'm really upset and um, unhappy at people who came online yesterday to feign ignorance and act like, oh, I've been through school. Mm. I was I, I went through the four walls of education. Nobody tried to molest me. Are you <laughs> sure you were not doing something? Like, how would you even say that? Like, even this... from that documentary, she went in and they were having a proper conversation, like a lecturer to somebody Student. seeking mm -hmm. an admission and all of that and then you went from zero to a hundred just like that that's to show you that that's <laughs> what they actually do mm -hmm. do you understand so it's not like and i think they look the out conversation for the vulnerable ones. she was even like ah but yeah, that's she, not good she though said it's in the she said that's not fair oh. ah, what about the people that are reading what about the boys yeah yeah like ah so they, 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 they have been there that's the benefit of what you do now uh, even show them where they used to go and <laughs> code room, code room. And hey, also code had, room. Um, has also shut down When is that like they are selling Turkey? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, this is a very serious case because mm -hmm. I think this case, the, the case of this man is just like four down, one million or uncountable to go. Mm -hmm. Because in almost every university, I cannot, I can almost say that it is a fact that almost all the universities we have in the world, this is not just, it's not, it's not about Africa, it's not about America, it's not about, it's just what happens generally in the world. Mm. Do you understand? So I think... But the level or the, the, the extent it happens in this part of yeah, the world... Yeah, it's very is high, high, right? Yeah. And there's, there's this particular thing I picked on, and I wanted to talk about it on air, uh, was um, when the man told her that, I will report to your mom that mm. you're being <clears throat> disobedient. disobedient. It was a case of, if, it was, um, if he has to stand against her, like word to word, they will believe him over her. Mm -hmm. And this brings me to the misplaced priority our society has um, kept on elders, pastors, teachers, professors, lecturers. I mean, especially when the um, child is a stubborn child, they don't even believe anything that comes from them. And we have a lot of um, kids out there that are going through this, and they are talking to their parents, but their parents don't even believe them. They don't we, have, we, we, have, we have the case of... Um, Children reporting to their parents about pastors, teachers, oh, or uncles. Oh, or fellow church. You don't want to. Do you understand? Church. You don't want to go to church. You don't want to read. Um, you don't want to read. Is it, your lecturer cannot be lying. Mm. I know that man. He's a pastor. Mm -hmm. He can't do that to you. Mm -hmm. Imagine if this girl was at, was a real victim. Jen, if she was and a real victim, and she goes back home to tell her mom, her mom probably come to school and say, ah, lecturer, the man will just call the man. You know, the man would turn. She's a very disobedient child. I'm not saying we should not respect our elders. They will even but, start I mean, twisting and say, Tebabi, Bushi, Mamura. Do you understand? And you see, that's when you see so many witnesses, people that don't even know her will come and say, ha, huh, yes, now. Ah, that's how she used to dress. That's why she, that's how she acts. I mean, all these things gone. In my school, my uni, where I went to, we have like two, two stories about um, a lecturer asking students for um, sex and all. And at the end of the day, yeah, they probably, um, expel the lecturer and all but that's i don't think that's justice because these people are still moving freely mm. they are still working somewhere else and this thing is not stopping 
Mm. I don't even think, I, I personally don't think they really feel bad. But Apart you, from this social shame that, that happens to them, they just see it as it will pass. You know, you, you, really you know that it was at the end. Nobody says anything again. I saw comments online and then some people were saying, oh, that's why it's good to send your children to private schools. This is what you get from um, federal universities. He happens in private and, schools. And I was like, come on, I went to Babcock. Mm. A lecturer impregnated a student mm. while I was in Babcock. Can you and imagine? it was And it's a Christian seven-day Adventist university. Yeah. And that happened in a place like, so it's not whether or not a private, this lecturer just have this sense of entitlement mm -hmm. that um, for us to give you admission or for you to pass my course, mm -hmm. then you have to scratch my back, then I scratch your back. And I'm like, how does that even work when we should be talking about quality education? Mm. So are we going to get quality education? Because a lot of people will come out without even having nothing upstairs mm. because they didn't learn anything in school. They scratched backs mm. throughout their stay in school. And a, a, a lot of... Um, like I know, student, sorry, um, I, I have a neighbor that um, she only goes to school during the exam period, but I she's hope, always... Hope your neighbor is watching. <laughs> I hope she's watching too. Because <laughs> I'm always telling her that you, not only when you get exam, you go to school. Mm. Because she schools in Nemo State, mm -hmm. but she's always in Lagos. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, I, um, like you said, a lot of students that don't have anything upstairs will graduate to good grades. And the ones that have a lot to give back to the society mm. when they are done with school will probably drop out of school. Because it's not everybody that is ready to accept or say yes to whatever the lecturer once. Which is what happened to Kiki Modi. She so actually dropped out. She of dropped school. out of school. Yeah. You can, you can. She wanted to be a doctor, and her, her dream was almost ruined. Her doctor dream was ruined, but like she's doing well for herself now. But I mean, it's not um, everybody that has that, that is that strong to carry on. Mm -hmm. Imagine you dropping out of school and you're telling your parent that the reason why I'm dropping out of school is because a lecturer wants to sleep with me. And um, it sounds very crazy, but it is what it is. Mm. Do, do you understand? I, um, I think that for me now, I think that. The way we have EFCC as a body that is um, about the financial um, issues like fraud and no, we should have a body, for should have a body under the Nigerian and police. also have the proper laws. But I also to give them want right you guys yes. to know that um, guys are also victims of this. Yeah, mm. you're Even very it's right. Even more rampant, mm. with, but there are a lot of female lecturers that when you come to the house, they will start drifting. Well, I, I've I mean, they are, they are, we, even, yeah. we even have lecturers yeah, that are gay. I just want to add do, that. Do you get? Yeah, I just want to add that. If you don't have anything tangible or reasonable, or you think you cannot relate on this sex for great um, story, don't, just say, mm. don't say anything because there are so many opinions out there that you wonder if. Imagine thinking, somebody saying right? that we're going to lose um, great lect um, professors because oh, wow. of this um, documentary coming out because a lot of people. Um, Big, big professors are going to be exposed, so we should shut it down. And I'm like, why would somebody even say this? So the, the um, girls that their lives are getting ruined, they don't matter. Anyway, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, we'll have more stories to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleep in early. <laughs> Welcome back. Don Jazzy passionately appeals to artists um, that's ready to sign just any contract. So I think he shared the screenshot of um, the DM he got of mm. someone telling him he's ready to mind. doesn't want to get any percentage. <laughs> ha! If you sign me to Mavis, this is how they used to start. And then when they give us city yes. now, they will now come and not tell you they were paying me. Is it five thousand naira? Don Jazzy they was cheating. What kind of money is that? Fifty k. Fifty. Is it up to fifty? <laughs> no, it was 15 or something. Uh -uh. Monthly. Uh -uh. It's not that ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, so, I mean, we've always, what Don Jazzy is saying now is what we've always said on mm. this table. Each time 
an issue of um, record label and, and contracting mm -hmm. comes up. We've always said this. I know you want to make money. I know you are desperate. To blow. You know, and I think that we are even in the time where you don't need to be this desperate to make something out of your craft with the mm -hmm. help of social media. So if you can have the, that leverage to an extent, it's difficult, I know. You want to be able to put food on your table somehow, mm -hmm. but still hold on to your dignity because you will make it's that money when they sign you. <laughs> and that's when we're not hearing stories. Anyway, you give us things to talk about on tea time. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've said it all actually. Like, you're, we all know that you're desperate to blow, but don't let your desperation pass normal level. Like, the that question you want is always asking on Plus TV how easy is it for you to blow? <laughs> <laughs> You know, like be, because now if Don Jazzy if Don Jazzy was a greedy person, you know, mm. I say, okay, fine, no problem. Come, let me sign you mm. now. And there's no percentage oh, I'm just going to up you. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. place your or thirty K salary. So since, collect it. since he's the one really, really begging, you. you will collect it. at that point you'll be happy. Then when you become a big artist, now you not forget that time you signed that contract mm. with him, oh, you now come and be ruining his image that Don Jazzy is doing this. That means now we can't even blame those um, record label owner because we don't know it's what Said behind. Business. You, you just understand. They are businessmen and they want to make money too. So if you're selling yourself cheap, they'll buy you cheap. Mm. Okay. Exactly. Um, that was what I was actually going to pick up on. That no talent, no creative, and as long as you believe in your craft, never mm. sell yourself short. Know your worth. Mm -hmm. If you go for an interview, if you go for a record label meeting, give them your figure. See that they work with it. The the confidence you use to give your mm. figure mm. is what they will even use to negotiate with you. Mm. But when you now start coming like oh, I really need this, even though you really need it, mm -hmm. never let it show. It's Do like you have to sell a phone. Yeah. It, it, it depends on how desperate you are. That's how they'll price the phone. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like be confident, like if I said, not like Baba anything, I beg anything. What is Baba anything? You want to sell the phone, you can borrow someone like that. Now, because I don't yeah, buy this iPhone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Market, don't be saying I need the money. You know. Don't be saying I need the money. I just buy and I know if they use two phones. You get it. The way you sell it. If you know I'm bad, no worry, no worry. You get They'll call you by your boss. Come, boss, come. Maybe we increase that. Yes. You get So never sell yourself. I will have already. <laughs> Never sell yourself short as a creative, mm -hmm. as a talent, as anything. Just keep believing in what you do. If it doesn't work here, if it doesn't work there, it will work somewhere. Mm. All doors can never be shut forever. Mm. Mm. Fair has rounded up the that, show. Right? All doors <laughs> cannot <laughs> be shut forever. Mm. All right, I think that's how we wrap up this episode of Sea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, like I always say, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co anchors Ewa Oritu and Ifeolu Oshoke, and of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good.